Hello everyone, I'm Scott Arby with Arby Law. We do estate planning and probate and we do both of those things very well. Um, and today I'm going to talk about uh, what I can do with a simple trust to help my kids. But before I get started, if you have any questions about what I talk about today or any questions about estate planning in general, you can go to estateplanmeeting.com and schedule a time to talk with me for free, either in person or by the phone. Again, that's estateplanmeeting.com. So today's topic is, what can I do with a simple trust to help my kids? So for some clients that come in, they just want a very simple estate plan. They say, I just want a will, I don't want a trust, I don't want anything like that. And in some cases, that can be, be the, the right option. However, if you have uh, minor children, you may want to uh, consider creating a trust. And the reason I say that is that if you only have a simple will, once your children turn 18, any, any uh, inheritance you leave for them, they receive that money outright. Uh, no restrictions, no limitations. They're free to do whatever they want with that, with with that with that money. Um, and for some situations, that that could be that could be perfect. Some children um, are mature enough to handle any sort of inheritance, uh, whether it be you know modest or, or very large, and they have the maturity in the financial sense to make sure that 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 inheritance lasts a lifetime. However, other situations, uh, the children aren't. Um, they don't have that, that maturity or that financial savvy or sophistication to be able to make sure that the inheritance lasts and that a large inheritance could only last a short period of time, especially if someone uses that uh, as their only means of, of living um, because it is finite and it will run out at some point. So um, as parents, we try to give our, our kids support, guidance, and boundaries. Um, and if you're not around to provide that direction, a trust can provide boundaries around their finances. Um, there are mechanisms you can use within a trust um, to help your children become more financially responsible. Um, if you do have a trust, um, you can say in the trust that when your child is a certain age, they will, they will become a co-trustee uh, co of their trust. What does that mean? It gives them a seat at the table and allows them to uh, participate in the direction of how those assets are managed. It may give them uh, more uh, sense of, of investment within that, um, within that trust and feel like they're part of the process. Um, another example could be is that you um, stagger distributions from your trust um, over a period of time, um, such as when they, re they, they reach certain ages. This allows them to um, receive some money and then use that money uh, wisely without blowing it all at once. Um, and hopefully if they were to receive a large distribution and they were to make some mistakes and they were to, you know, that wouldn't last as long as it should. Maybe by the time the next distribution uh, is set to be paid out, they'll understand that um, how to use this money and better use it more widely so it lasts a little longer. So, um, so there are simple solutions that can often work. Um, and sometimes there are a uh, simple will is appropriate for, for some, some people. However, if you have mine children, letting them inherit money at age 18 is usually not a very good idea. Um, it's possible to develop the skills necessary to manage those assets uh, and, and live a productive life and make sure that any money that you leave them will last a really long time. But you know, why take the risk? Um, you can help them along the way by providing guidance and stability through a trust. So it's something that you should consider um, if you have um, our children and you're looking to do your estate plan. So that's all I have for today. Uh, once again, I am Scott Aubrey with Aubrey Law. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, you can go to estateplanmeeting.com and set up a time with talk to me for free. Um, you can also um, leave a comment here, um, and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, if you know someone that could uh, benefit from seeing my video, uh, please share that with them. Again, Scott Arbor with Arbor Law, and thank you, and I'll talk to you soon.